Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Sunday, October 28th, 2018, 10, 28, 2018, a very lovely date. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child, souls from the deeper, denser dimensions, and all other souls from all other dimensions, as long as the souls are already living by the many rules given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of this, and those rules are designed to promote being able to figure out what's actually going on That's in true. all the dimensions through which our energy is intersecting. That's true. And somebody's asking why that would be. We think the reason is because there's a big project underway attempting to get presences in all dimensions to live their soul plans, keep their sacred vows to spirit, do what they said they would do, and that it is not going well, at least not inside the contaminated zone, which is quite large. That's true. And therefore, the many facets of this huge, enormous project have been prioritized, and one of the most important aspects is to be able to tell what's actually going on. That's true. Because without being able to tell what's actually going on, even well-intentioned presences are helpless. They're, they're not likely to be helpful other than just accidentally if they can't tell what's actually going on. That's true. And the pencil point is tapping on Angela Merkel, we're anglicizing her name to be Angela Merkel, but her name is Angela Merkel. That's true. Somebody's asking, what do we know? And they mean, what do we notice about Angela Merkel? And what we notice is that as we continue to research her, we do not find any red flags that show that she is a poor choice for planetary consciousness, for ground zero planet Earth, for this planet and this dimension. It, it seems that she is a good choice. Oh, that's true. She seems to understand almost right away what's going on with the humans she's interacting with. That's true. And she seems to understand large, complex problems and to get to what the situation actually calls for pretty fast and That's much faster true. than those around her, unfortunately for her, and fortunately for them. She understands it, and if they would just listen to her and align with her, the situation would go better for everybody. And unfortunately, in politics, as in all occupations, there's a lot of jockeying for position and a lot of uh, wanting to win and forgetting that we're actually trying to solve big problems. That's true. Why do you ask? Upstairs, they're talking about that other German politician whose name, I believe, is Martin Schultz, and how he sees Angela Merkel as a problem, and how he shows us something important. We know who you're talking about, that gentleman, and it is possible his name is Martin Schulz. And Martin Schulz, he loves Germany. And yeah, he desperately wants for Germany to uh, be great again. And yes. he sees Angela as a problem. But there's this other gentleman in Austria who's the president of Austria and that's kind yes. of a figurehead there's in Austria in politics there's also a chancellor and the chancellor is the real uh, decision maker and the president is kind of a figurehead yeah they are both elected however th the president in Austria is um, I don't know he might be 65 or 70 years old just from the photo and he says it's really time for Europe to think larger and not smaller and that, uh, to paraphrase him, Europe is at risk of devolving back into all those tiny little countries rather than moving forward to become a collective known as Europe. That's true. And he's saying Europe's 
competition should be with Russia and China and the United States, and we shouldn't be bickering and arguing amongst ourselves. And again, this is a paraphrase of his position, but that does seem to be our assessment, the visiting soul's assessment of his position. Yeah, that's true. And that is a foresight worthy of mimicry or emulation. And this gentleman in Germany, Martin Schulz, he does not seem to be thinking in those terms. He seems to be thinking only about Germany, kind of like uh, the Dalai Lama thinks only about Tibet. Yes, it's true. And Angela is attempting to think about Europe, and Germany's place inside of Europe, but also Europe, and attempting to take Europe in the direction in which Europe needs to head for Europe to thrive and for the planet to thrive also. That's true. And that's how we should all be thinking. How can we live in such a way as for the planet to thrive and our corner of the planet and dimension to also thrive? What is the win, 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 win? Does that answer the question? Ah, well, so they're saying, well, what do we do with Martin Schulz? That's what they're asking. He's he's an important and valuable uh, piece of this puzzle, and we think that you need to help him. He doesn't seem to want to listen to Angela, but maybe he will listen to the Austrian president. That's true. Whose name is... Vand or something or other, I'm sorry. Maybe Martin Schulz will listen to the president of Austria, and in addition, maybe the chancellor of Austria, who's actually the one with the power, will listen to the French president. And the French president looks like he might be able to hear what Angela Merkel is saying. Yes, and so true. if everybody listens to the correct voices, if they're facing forward and not backward in their chairs, in other words, yes. it's possible that Europe can come together as a collective force for good in this planet, in this dimension. That's true. Human society of Europe in this planet, in this dimension, can come together as a force for good. That's true. It's possible, but there are are a lot of ifs, and it's crucial that everybody be facing forward and not backward, because if those presences are listening to each other in the wrong direction, everything falls apart. And we, we actually think this is crucial. We actually think that this is the point that is... Uh, has been attempted to be made by some higher powers who are saying, you think you've sent in support for Angela, but it has not reached her. It has not reached her. And it's possible you have linked these presences into a little bit of a train, but the train is not yet facing in the correct direction. And if the French president isn't aligned with Angela's position then the whole thing kind of comes apart. And there was a little blip in the summit that was just held in Turkey where the French president and and Angela uh, had a disagreement and then they agreed that they needed to come to agreement. And that's good. That's good. But it's a signal that uh, the French president, who seems like a really great guy and somebody that higher presences would also like to work through. That's true. uh, He's not facing forward, he needs to really consider Angela's position most deeply and most seriously because she seems to be reading it correctly. That's true. And she seems to be the voice to listen to. That's what we think. For whom is the message and why do you ask? Someone upstairs who might be higher than the previous question askers is talking about Angela Merkel and about what true love actually is, and about the French president, whose name I believe is Emmanuel Macron. And they're trying to make some point. Angela understands that true love is calling the beloved into his or her greatness, not enabling the beloved. So presumably she's saying to the leader of France, come on, we can do better, let's do better, let's do better, you and I. And if you and I do better, maybe the rest of this collective will also join us in attempting to do better. 
And of mm. course the rest of the collective is almost certainly saying, let's just take the easy way out. What's the easiest possible way to resolve this immediate situation so that it accrues to our personal benefit that we look good and therefore get reelected? Because that's, that's the inquiry that goes on in political circles all the time and not to single them out, that's basically the same inquiry that goes on in all circles all the time with the exception of needing to get reelected. That's true. Does that answer the question? And they're talking about what it really means to love your country and they're talking about Martin Schulz and Angela Merkel and how they both would say very much they love Germany. They do both love Germany. They do love Germany. They both do. But one of them is looking backward at the wow. Germany that was, and the other one is looking forward at the Germany that might become. Wow. And That's isn't true. it more important to look forward to that which we might become? And Angela really seems to have the view of what might become if we all pull together. Like there's still time, there's still time to pull this out of the ditch, but we really need to focus on it now, and it's time to let go of backward looking. Does that answer the question? I don't know who's, a who's speaking. I don't know, but they but know what they're saying. They know what they're saying, and I also know that we're supposed to have filmed in a natural area, to set yeah, up in a natural true. area, so that's why we're set up here. That's true. And that possibly it has to do with those who can hear better in the natural environments than they can out in the hustle and bustle of the unnatural human container. That's true. Does that answer the question? question. Somebody again is referring to how much better many presences can hear when they're in the natural world. That's true. How they tend to release their fight Clinch. with God, basically. That's true. Stop fighting at least for a shining moment, and then they're able to hear. That's true. Does that help? They're talking about immigrants in Europe and immigrants coming into Germany and problems that could be solved by the immigrants that aren't being framed that way. When we begin to label something a problem, rather than simply labeling it as a situation, things get confusing almost right away. Yeah, that's true. What Asha used to say is that everything happens for a reason, absolutely nothing is accidental, and that the reason is always for good. That's now true. it's up to us to find what the reason is and act on it so the good can transpire, but the reason is there and the reason is for good. And so if we consider, interesting, we have a huge wave of immigration into Europe. That's what true. might be the blessing here? Interesting, we have a huge wave of immigration into North America. What might be the blessing here? It's possible that we who have access to birth cons control and higher forms of education and potential to understand how crucial it is to limit population of humans. That's true. Maybe we could stop having children and allow the immigration wave to fill the entry-level jobs that teenagers have traditionally taken That's true. and in such a way to have the workforce continue on and to see it as a win-win-win, not as a bad thing, because we've got to limit human population. We've got way too many. We've got possibly four times too many people, easily three times too, too many, easily three times too many people. Does that help? We think so. I we think, think that's so. the point. We think those are the points that the higher voices are trying to make, but it would be so great if everybody would just turn and look up right now. Please, can we all do it? Just look up. 
as if we have eyes on the tops of our heads and look straight up and draw our energy channels up as high as we can reach and when the arms run out of reach just cut off the channels right there because as dimensions fall the channels that we have managed to raise into those dimensions are then dragged down again and this is unfortunate but it is part of the reality we can simply accept responsibility for grooming our energy bodies and keeping our focus upward in that way or re-establishing focus upward over and over and over and over again by acknowledging that our energy bodies do not stay upward but continue to draw them upward we can possibly have at least a moment's clarity for whom is the message and why do you ask there's a pencil point tapping and the point that the speaker whoever the speaker is is trying to make is that we've got to be facing forward and up for everything to work and it seems like it should be simple to be facing forward and up but in fact it's extremely difficult however it's worth a try think about how it is for babies to them walking seems extremely difficult think about how it was before you knew how to ride a bicycle that seemed extremely difficult how about learning to drive that probably seemed extremely difficult but how many of you drive and talk on your cell phones and don't pretend you don't because we know you do that's true so obviously you feel like you've got it under control enough to multitask right while That's operating true. heavy machinery so we can learn to do this friends we can learn to stay aligned with up and forward and to take responsibility for breathing simultaneously and also do our work in the worlds so we can do it we can do it <laughs>